ಕಾಲೀಕೂಚ ಸಮಾಯುಕ್ತ ಮಾಯಾಪೂರ್ವೋಪದೇಶಕ ಪ್ರಣವಾರ್ಥ ಪ್ರಬೋಧಿನ್ಯೌ ನಮಿ ಗುರುಪಾದಿಕೆ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾತ್ರೇ ನಮಃ ಕ್ರೀಂ ಮಾತ್ರೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ನಮಸ್ಸೆ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ವಿತ್ ದ ಎಸ್ಟಡೇಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ದ ಕನ್ಜಕ್ಷರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಜಿಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೇಮ್ ದ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಕನ್ಜಕ್ಷರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಮೋನ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಯೂ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚುರಲ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಜಿಕ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಯೂ ಸಮ್ ರೆಮಿಡೀಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದೀಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಷ್ಟಕರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅ ರೆಮಿಡಿ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಮೈಟ್ ಹವ್ ಥಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಸಮ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸಾರಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಸೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಎನಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ಫಾರ್ ವಶೀಕರಣ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎನಿಮೀಸ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಮಂತ್ರಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ವೆಬ್ ಪೇಜಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಷಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫಾಲೋ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಮೋರ್ ಟ್ರಬಲ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ವಶೀಕರಣ್ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆಕರ್ಷಣ್ ಆರ್ ಮೋಹನ್ all of these kriyas all of these systems all of these techniques are hand crafted for your own energy system and for the very specific purpose of what you are going to do they will see everything including your horoscope before they can offer you these things or before they can get you out of the trouble so i personally am not a tantric hope you know that not in this kind of a sense but i have associated myself due to various reasons due to various scenarios with many upasakas who go into these things both for the good and the bad so i in my experience i have seen a lot of uh, you know these kinds of activities and the mindset and the processes that are that is happening but I, in my experience i cannot say this is like 100 percentage full proof or this cannot be broken or anything like that okay let me explain this statement first of all let us understand how vashikaran akarshan and mohan works these three of the ashtakarmas five ashtakarmas which ityananda is using as far as i can understand these ashtakarmas work based on the control of the mind and your energy body can control your mind and your physical body it is possible but at the same time through the natural state of evolution of all the five shariras of all the five bodies that we have the energy body is the least evolved one you need to understand this through the natural process of eating and through the natural process of metabolism the physical body grows it evolves by itself and through the natural process of learning and through the natural process of thinking your mind is also continuously growing it is very very strong and the emotions through the natural process of going through relationships going through life your emotions have also have a very strong connection very strong hold on your physical body as well as your mind however and the ananda maya kosha there is no question about it ananda maya kosha is in the highest state of evolution possible for a, for a sarira that is as far as these bodies are concerned they are impermanent but the most permanent of these impermanent bodies is the ananda maya kosha which is nothing but the radiance of your anma radiance of your atma so there is no question about it there is nothing in, there is no involvement of your ananda maya kosha in any of these businesses your energy body is the least evolved one as i told you because all the other bodies are going through their natural processes whereas you have to nurture your energy body through practices in order to evolve it therefore the hold of the energy body on your other bodies and on your activities on your on your movement is very very limited but at the same time it has got the most potential power potential energy to change your life through sadhana now that aside so manipulating your energy body 
is something which can be easily overcome by with the help of your emotions your mind your logic and your body physical body now let us understand the energies that are at play here are created or crafted out of your own energies for example if a person is applying vasi current on you he can apply it through various methods he can apply it through anjana which is the paste that, that is being applied he can apply it through food he can mix this vasi current uh, concoction into your food and you can if you eat it you will be able to uh, you know he will be able to control you same thing applies for akarshana as well as mohana whenever i am saying one ashta karma you need to understand all the other ashta karmas which are involved in the play right here so he can manipulate through food he can manipulate through touch he can manipulate through sense of smell by having an incense stick and you know loading that incense incense stick with vasikarana he can also manipulate by making you look into his eyes i have seen the practice of having nityananda's eyes the picture of nityananda's eyes and gazing into them or directly gazing into his eyes this is a way in which the vasikaran can also be conveyed or can be carry up uh, pushed into you so when this is happening what will happen is your energies will start to change in a subtle manner and your energies will be happy only when you are doing what he is saying to a certain extent the potential of these ashtakarmas in the external world when the when the ashtakarmas are applied on the external world it is very very limited because the energy body of the tantrika who is creating these can be highly evolved but the person who is receiving this their energy body is not subtle enough is not receptive enough to be 100 percentage compliant to this that is the good news but the bad news is that if you do not realize that you are under vasikarana or mohana or akarshana then you will never be able to come out of this there was one comment in the last video asking if the vasikarana of nityananda is so powerful then how were these people able to come out of it that is the question that was asked that is the question that was asked and in order to answer this question we need to understand that if you are not mentally cooperating if you are not mentally cooperating with this particular person if you are if you are thinking against him completely beyond a certain level then it cannot control you now there is an there is an adage which is uh, there in tamil it is be uh, it is repeated in these in these tantric circles they will always say mandiram kal madimukkal meaning all these mantric practices are only 25 percentage 75 percentage is from your mind which is your madi so when you say mandiram kal madimukkal this is both for the good and the bad the mantir uh, the pract the ashtakarma practice is only sowing a seed inside you and if your mind is in an accepting condition then it will make it into a complete process wherein it will be a success if you are in vasikarana and if you are already liking that person then what will happen is this liking will become absolute lusting and this liking will become absolute uh, control for that person that is also being done by your mind but if you know, if your mind is in a constantly resisting state then the person who is giving you the vasikarana substance has to increase it to lethal doses the very common practice or the most common practice of vasikarana is being used in husband and wife relationship that is uh let us say a rich man is there and he is having a wife and children now one woman is trying to uh trap him another woman is trying to trap him because of his wealth so what she can do is she can approach a tantric and she can 
and of course like he should be associated with this woman first of all so if he is associated with this woman in any manner then what she can do is she can give him some vasikarana through food or through anjana or through touch or through smell or however she can give this and she, she can control him now in this situation the first wife the legal wife she will go to another tantric and that tantric will say please speak as much bad about that woman as possible to your husband that will be the first advice that he will be giving please make sure that he is he is not visiting her all of these things might sound like okay if he is not visiting her then vasikaran is not going to happen no it is not like that it is because if he is not visiting her then obviously the thoughts about her will reduce his mind will start to analyze what is happening to him and that itself will be like 30 to 40 percentage of the coming out of it second portion the first woman is using vasikaran right so this wife what she is doing uh, she is speaking bad uh, explaining about that woman and uh, she, she is explaining that her character is not good you are not the only one man in her life she is explaining all these things to him so what this rich man will do is he will go and fight with her he will go and say you are not true to me i thought you are a good woman but uh, now i came to know about you all of these things so there is another tantric that this woman is going to the second uh, wife or the illegal wife is going to so what that tantric will say is act as if nothing happened just speak to him normally be nice to him as you are please don't show any anger towards him because if you show anger towards him the vasi current will start to break this will be the advice that the bad tantric will be giving i have seen both of these things happen in my life very both of these situations many times in my life different with different people now i saw one thing that confirms Nityananda is following this technique in the messages that he has sent to Sarah Landry on the Facebook site which she has shared in her video and what he is doing is she is telling Swamiji I, I don't want to continue with you he is telling okay ma it is all right I know about you he is not resisting he is not showing his anger but he is terribly anger, angry on her I know that because she is leaving him he is not showing that then she is telling some people in your ashram told me that I will go and find a guy. I will not continue with my spiritual practices or something like that. He is immediately telling I know they are wrong and you are right. Okay. Now, if he, is, he really means this, then he should chuck them out actually. He is not taking any action against them. He is simply saying this because it is the same advice. Do not show any anger to him even if he is fighting with you. Because if you show anger, Vasi Karan will break. And again, uh, she is telling Swami, I am going to drop my Kavi or I am going to, I cannot do the practices or something like, I, I have lost faith, I am losing faith day by day. And he is again speaking as if nothing has happened. This is how the entire conversation is happening. So this is one important technique that anybody who is appearing, uh, uh, you know, who is uh, doing Vasikaran for you is applying. Okay, let us come back to this story, to this analogy. This bad woman who is doing Vasikaran for the wealth of the married man, she is somehow showing anger or the realization of that rich man is more than she could handle. So the Vasikaran is slowly starting to fade. Now she will come back to this tantric and she will ask for more medicine. And this medicine will become a lethal dosage and finally that rich man will die. This has happened in some cases. Some family members, uh, even sons and daughters, will keep Vasi Karan for the father or the grandfather for acquiring property, for avoiding uh, the others who are eligible for that property. So when this is happening, at a point of time, this old person will actually die because of the over dosage of Vasi Karan medicine. Because the chemicals that are used here, the medicines, the medicine that is that the, the uh, you know, herbs and other things that are used here, they are not vitamin tablets. They are all dangerous drugs used for various maladies and used for various ailments. And also some poison will be used, some opiates will be used in the Vasikaran medicine. And if it goes in lethal dosages, it is lethal. So, but in this, in Nityananda's case, he cannot risk this. So what he is doing is, he is just using very thin level of Vasikaran. But this thin level of Vasikaran is this 25 percentage he is having a very strong 75 percentage for this 25 percentage through the methods of his mental manipulation. So all he wants is a small opening which is created through this Akarshan, this Vasikaran or this Mohan. 
and once that happens you will start using all of your psychological techniques to make sure that it is complete this is the system that he is using now in order to come out of the vashikaran the very first thing that you need to start with the very first thing that you need to do is to confirm to it another very important thing in your, in your life if you are approaching a tantric for any reason and i hope you are not approaching him for uh, using this these practices for wrong uh, doing or using these practices for fame or fortune please do not do that i beg you please do not do that but if you are approaching him for a remedy if the tantric is either immediately accepting that you have a problem or if the tantric himself is suggesting that somebody has kept something for you then please do not believe in that guy first piece of advice any real tantric any real practitioner who wants to help you will first try to give you logical solution psychological solution and then he will try to uh, argue with you to prove that uh, you are not affected but if you are only if you are able to prove beyond doubt that you that you are affected then he will be willing to help you this is because if you are doubtful whether you are affected through the vasikaran or not or any practice for that matter if you are affected through that or not then what will happen is your mind half of your mind will only be useful in resisting the vasikaran half of your mind will be denying that if this is your condition then you are struggling to come out of this so you out of your own volition out of your own decision out of your own thinking process must come to the conclusion that something is happening to me something abnormal is happening to me and i must come out of this if this resolve is very very strong then immediately some problem is resolved some problem is solved in order to solve more problem we have to walk away or we have to move away from that person and whatever things are associated with that person like his name or the mantras that he gave or the anjana that you are applying or your or his idol or anything like that or his idol or his picture whatever you are having do not just throw that throw that away burn it burn it in your backyard if you do this then your mind whenever it is think, thinking about this particular person immediately it will think about this extreme act of denying him so this is the second technique that will be very very useful for you to come out of these kinds of situations and then the third thing that you need to do is not to think about this vasikaran portion too much because you will be empowering that the more you think about it so even when you are thinking negatively about it it should be only limited that is the third one so apart from all of these practices apart from all of these practices let us see a little bit more about these techniques before we go again into the fourth and final remedy and this remedy is one particular uh, kavacha which is available online you can either listen to it uh, or you can chant it i will post the link uh, for this particular uh, you know uh, uh, this one somebody is teaching that in canada so i will give you the link i will explain about the person at the end now these mantric practices they are acting upon your mind they are acting upon your emotions more so so if there is no emotional attachment towards that person that is the first point wherein you are starting to break it now let us take two cases two cases wherein they broke this vashikaran completely and they are completely speaking out against nityananda in fact today these two people are the representatives or the or uh, these two people are the forerunners or are the front lines of the battle against nityananda janardana sharma in india and sara landry in in the international circuit now what happened with janardana sharma is a very huge shock looking at sex messages from your guru on your daughter's mobile phone so this is a very very big shocker and based on the shocker based on this anger based on this hatred no practice can control you after that unless until you are the only target if it is being fit to you in lethal dosages 
even then you will continue to fight it and you will die because of that but you cannot be completely controlled if this kind of a shocker is happening to you so that is how that breaking happened and then another kind of breaking that happened is in case of sara landry is that she moved away that is the first thing if she had stayed in the ashram i am 100% sure that she would not have come out and i have seen her assert this in her videos it is very true not only because of the group thinking not only because of the peer pressure all of these things but also because this will continue to grow inside her this will continue to breed inside her and it will slowly capture all the rebelling tendencies it will slowly dissipate all of the anger and once again we will mellow down so in order to avoid these kinds of scenarios you need to move away from that person from the ashram in this case so this is one more uh, thing that we need to do and as far as vashikarana is concerned it is done through the practice of anjana in case of nityananda and as far as anjana is concerned it is prepared using some medicinal drugs now do you know there is a very simple technique in order to remove the effects of this anjana that is by applying vibhuti on your forehead by applying vibhuti on the agnya you can remove the anjana from that and by applying kumkum on your agnya you can avoid more anjana from affecting you or that anjana energy is there the anjana energy is registered here so that anjana energy is the receptacle for the vasikarana now if you are applying vibhuti it will remove the anjana energy from inside and if you are applying kumkum on that it will further stop the anjana more anjana uh, energy from coming into the receptacle receptacle so this is a very very simple technique that you can use in order to strengthen your agnya chakra against this anjana and the worst thing about the anjana energy is that the worst is thing about anjana energy is that it is affecting the very important center of your spiritual body which is responsible for your intellectual enlightenment so if you ever wore the anjana given by nityananda even only one time in your life please continuously apply vibhuti for at least 15 days or 23 days in order to counteract to counteract those effects effects now the final technique that i was speaking about i am going to give you one particular link in the in, uh, description this is the kavacham devi kavacha from the saptasadi or the chandi path so once you recite this if you are able to recite this well and good if you are unable to recite this no problems there is one particular channel called grd ayers guru cool so uh, mr ramesh uh, is teaching this in canada he is teaching he is a sri vidya upasaka and he is teaching this in canada to everybody with no difference between gender with no difference in in terms of nationality in terms of caste or creed he is teaching mantras to everybody so and these classes are available in his channel please go and visit them and i will specifically give you the link of the uh, kavach devi kavach which is devi kavach is armor of uh, armor that devi is bestowing on us army the armor that Chand, uh, chandi is bestowing on us and please make use of that and you will be able to completely protect yourself if you unless until if you have more doubts regarding this i am going to stop speaking about the black magic aspect because none of this can be verified objectively everything is an objective experience in this case and scriptural evidence i will not be able to provide for this so speaking only based on conjecture and asking you to believe me or asking you to accept what i say i really feel you know strained because of this and i really feel that uh, i am leading you somewhere without proper evidence which i do not want to do which i do not like to do i hate doing this so unless until there is some serious questions about these black magic practices or there is some serious uh, new information about this i will not be speaking further and again 
one request if somebody can give me some jnana anjana i will be very very thankful because i want to do some experiments using that and if those experiments are successful i think i will be able to devise a remedy at least that will also be an experiment all this is subjective so that being said we will end the video for the day i know this is a short video but there is not much to speak about this and i don't want to regale you with a lot of stories of this sort because i am releasing video during night time <coughs> and i i know at least a very few of you uh, will watch my video whenever it is being released so i don't want to regale many more black magic stories during night time to you so tacham yora brinimahe dhatum yagnaya dhatum yagnapataye dhaivi swastirastanah swastir manushebhyah ऊर्धम जिगात वेशज षण्णो अस्तु दुखते ए सचतुष्पते ओं शांति 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 नमस्कार